Okay, London City Airport MBA. Let's talk. We are probably going to be moving into legal proceedings very soon, and I wanted to take an opportunity to talk to you while I still can. Um, which is funny because. I would not have been BA at all. And I've heard from London City Airport in a very limited capacity. Um, so I'm trying to give you the respect that you still haven't given me by talking to you directly. I've been without a wheelchair. 145 days and that is really frustrating and it's completely evolved over and over and over I've seen you put me off mitigate liability blame each other in order to save face give me the run around at one point, I was supposed to have a phone meeting with one of your lawyers, and she canceled at the last minute because she had a cold. It was a phone meeting to specifically talk about getting me a temporary wheelchair. And she dropped the ball and bowled out big and into discussions because she had a cold. That's what I'm dealing with. Those are the games that you've been playing over and over and over for the past five months. And it really is pathetic. You have blamed each other in such a ridiculous way that the only rational conclusion is both parties are to blame. Both British Airways and London City Airport have aired. But you want to point to each other rather than owning up that you changed an aircraft at the last minute to one that could not accommodate my wheelchair, that you did not properly train your ground staff, that you don't know how to handle someone with a disability, that even your own employees don't understand the social math model of disability and would rather talk to my PA who speaks English as her third language than to actually talk to someone with a disability and to ask them what they need. That's really pathetic in a country that just hosted the Paralympics. That's even more pathetic for an airline that is supposed to be taking all of the Paralympic athletes for the British team to Rio 2016. If I was a Paralympic athlete, there would be no way I'd let British Airways near me or my chair after they clearly discriminate against people on the account of disability and don't attempt to make amends for the damage that they've done. People are saying to me that shouldn't I be scared posting these web videos that you will use them against me. And yeah, that's a possibility because I have seen nothing in the past five months that suggests that you are above that kind of despicable behavior. But it will keep going unless people 
are made aware of the games corporations like you play in order to negate the rights and respect that people with disabilities deserve. As I've said before and I will keep saying, I have the right to be mobile. I have the right to be safe. I have the right to fly on an airplane when I buy a ticket and hold up my end of the contract by telling you what the dimensions of my wheelchair are and you green light me to fly. What happened on October 19th not only violated my rights for the day, but took my mobility away from me. I am more disabled now than I was on October 18th, 2015, as a direct result of your actions. Please do the right thing and make this your responsibility. Taking the appropriate precautions for future flights and making this right. Have you followed what is set out in EU Regulation 1107 of 2006 on that day or even in the days following this whole mess? could have been avoided. But neither BA or London City Airport knew how to do that. And now, 145 days later, we are still dealing with your actions. 